this week on Clown College. Brandon, Brandon has too many cameras in his house. Dude. Yeah, he can't oh, do it. Oh, yeah, my mom's out here. It's, it's like a prison, man. You got a camera outside in the front. You got a camera in the back. You got a camera in the hallway. You got a camera in the front room. You got one in the kitchen. You damn near almost got one in the bathroom. Thankfully, they can't. I'm just joking. They don't have that. <laughs> they don't have joking. that. In case but they CPS can't, is watching but this. But they can't do in calls. You can call Your mama there. don't trust you. You can call in there. What do you mean you can call? You can call. Well, because they got a dot. So she can be like, hey, uh, you all right? Or something like that. The, if Emma, you stay the, in the bathroom too long? Oh, yeah. But now they just so when you're in the bathroom too, she's like, "Hey." Oh, thankfully, no, no. Oh. But back then they were just like, "You okay?" Knock on the door or something. Be like, "Hey, man, mm-hmm. you good?" And you're in there trying to take care of business. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Handling some good business, man. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? We all know what I. <laughs> we got to get Brandon. <laughs> Welcome to Clown College. We have profound knowledge in many ways to elevate and make it sound polished. So if you want to. Hear a little honest few takes on a ways to make it as a comic. Let's stick around for a while to put down the clown. We got the guest right now just to show you how. Let's all go to Clown College, baby. Let's all go to Clown It's like a perch. You get up on the rim of the toilet and shit into it from yep. above. Yeah. Oh, that's the shit you do in the gas station where you want to touch the whole damn toilet. Yeah. You do that? Yeah. You, no, he's saying he puts his feet on the... Oh, no, I ain't doing all that. No. Yeah, like he gets all the way up there. How are you going to potty train your kids? Mm, you know, <laughs> they'll be acrobatic. Hopefully. <laughs> hopefully I don't marry an American. Tarzan on the Howard Stern show back in the day. That was like this four-year-old who could bench like 320. Little Hercules. Was it Hercules? Yeah. <laughs> No. Little Hercules, he and he's not swollen no more. Nah. No, look up Little Hercules. One of my good, off. one of my good friends. Yeah, he did. One of my good friends. Him right here, Jack. Mm-hmm. Yep. Back in the day, and then let's show you. That motherfucker used to be on the Howard Stern show. Like, that's it. He's like regular. Yeah. One of my that's good friends. Guy. He was a potty. He's a potty training kids. He had the most simplest way to potty train his kids. Like every time we got to win, he would set them on the toilet in front. Like, he would set them on a little potty thing in front of the TV. He just up sit there for like thirty minutes until something came out. Mm-hmm. Huh, that's smart. Mm-hmm. How they potty train you, Brandon? <laughs> Honestly, I don't even think I, I'm still learning now. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a lifelong learner. I bet, you, I bet your booty's going to be itching. No, no, nah, man. We wipe that ass. <laughs> I always wipe my ass. I remember I was a little kid. I remember, the, I remember the day my mama. Do you remember the day your mom stopped wiping your ass? He's no, I don't. I do. You do? Yeah. How old were you? I don't know. But I you remember, had to be old enough to remember, though. I think I was like. I don't know. I think I'm like five or six, maybe. Uh huh. And I just said, "Mama, I'm through <laughs> wiping yourself." <laughs> I smell that from here. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So six years old, six probably years seven old. since you're saying six. <laughs> <laughs> right? Nah. Eight. Well, what grade were you in? I don't think I, start, I, don't think I started kindergarten yet. Oh, okay. that's good. Yeah. Yeah, because right. yeah, you didn't get potty trained till after that. Huh? Well, did you ever pee on yourself at school? Probably I'm, never at school. I was always thinking uh-uh. just just on a fishing like thing. Once. I did on purpose. You did on purpose. Why? What you want to get out of class? No, I had to go pee. My teacher talked about no, you're not gonna go. I said if I don't go, I'm pee on myself. Hey. I said well, pee on yourself. Respect. That's what you got to do. I, mm-hmm. I, but I did get to go home early though, so that was pretty cool. Should have been like, you know what? Get her a little bit, huh? Mm-hmm. I'll get kicked out of school. That's how you get kinks. Hey yeah. JJ, we got a. Uh, we got yeah. a special guest on the pod, huh? Oh, yeah, dude. Huntsville Comedy's Ray of Sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> the most positive guy I know. <laughs> Pat Grice. Hey! Yeah. What's up, Pat? What's going Thanks on? Thanks for coming on. You know you're a fixture of the Con College universe. For real? Yeah, yeah. We talk about you a lot. Uh, we made skits about you you didn't know about. Uh, <laughs> They're based off you. Uh, you actually were the first uh, comic that I ever seen in Huntsville, and your quote was, oh, no, you too cute to be funny. Then, yes, <laughs> on, on Thursday, he goes up on stage, and everybody's calling me fat. You know how they do whenever uh, I get it. Like, every single person. Yeah, after. A real honest crowd. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then he gets up there. He's like, y'all calling Don fat when I'm sitting right here. <laughs> and I was thinking that in my head the whole time. I'm like, we have to have some kind of standard here. But... 
Then he gets up on stage. He was like, at least Dominique's still cute. This is two times. Why you keep on calling me cute? <laughs> hey, look. All I okay. So when I first <laughs> met you, uh-huh. when I first met you, I didn't see you as a comic. Like, uh-huh. But there be there be a lot of comics who came after me in Huntsville. Like um, I forgot her name. She I don't feel that much no more. Um, I'm sorry. But um, like when I first saw her, I thought she was just a person in the crowd till she got on stage and told a joke about um, her pussy wasn't working or some shit. I can't remember. Mm-hmm. But with you, it's like I didn't really see you as a comic. But you know when you got on stage, I was like oh. He does comedy. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Fuck shit up. Yeah, like... Nah. <laughs> like, in husband, we don't really have no, you know, handsome comedians, for real. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying they're my ugly. I'm just saying, like, you know... So, out of out of me, Brandon, and JJ, who's the most handsome? You think I'm ugly? <laughs> That's what <laughs> <you're talking. laughs> I don't think you... I don't think you ugly, but you're kind of challenged. Uh, wait, 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 you said challenge. Like what? Get his ass, Brad. Like, mentally challenged? <laughs> no. no. You believe that. I'm just oh. <laughs> what, what type of challenge? Just, you know, a little hard on the face. Kinda like me. Uh, uh, kinda, like, uh, kinda like me. You know, I know I'm ugly, so you know, I know yeah. I look I look just like my dad, so I know I'm ugly. Mm-hmm, correct. Now but, but, <laughs> uh, but on, on us three, who's who's the uh, most handsome? So you're saying Brandon's not in the conversation. No. Okay, Damn. so between me and JJ, who's the most handsome? I'll say JJ. He got the Jack Harlow thing going yeah, on. Yeah, and, you know, yeah. he got the, he got the cute girlfriend, mm-hmm. and you know he's moving. It's like you know, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I'm moving, dude. I'm drinking breast milk. Hey, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> we might we might have some residue over there in that breast milk. If you want to lick it? I I can't I can't focus right now because Jake looks so much like Eric. It's crazy. Oh my god! Hey, the... like Eric Bischoff? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Eric from uh, Shenanigans. Oh, dude, we'll put a I thought that was a swap. I thought that was a swap for me. I was like, dude, he's showing up after all. You know? <laughs> uh, I what, think what? I'm seeing double right now, dude. Yeah, yeah what's, what's going on here? Gosh. I don't know, man. Mm, man. <laughs> you tell me, man. You, you try to, I feel like you're my biggest fan right now. <laughs> biggest fan? I don't know, man. I don't know. No. <laughs> no. 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 Honestly, I'm just wearing because we did we did a copycat last night where we were both dressed up as each other. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hell yeah. I tried. Oh, I, don't, I don't know how I could just pull off a branding like that. I think that's very hard to do. Oh, yeah. 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 You have to be born with it. Yeah. I appreciate it, man. I appreciate it. <laughs> they used to say that negatively, but now. <laughs> so I respect that. I now it's empowering. <laughs> now it's good. <laughs> God is good all the time, especially on Wednesday. Uh-huh. Hell yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers to Cheers. healthy life, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah. Healthy life. Are you mm-hmm. how you feeling? I'm a little unhealthy, but I'm straight. Yeah. Yeah. You take your medicine? No. Why not? You gotta do that. Because I don't have I don't have health insurance. Me neither. You can get it for free. Yeah, but that's the bootleg shit. You don't want that? Yes, you do. <laughs> you want anything that they'll give you. I'm telling you. <laughs> no, Pat, no. I just don't want you to die on us, man. I don't I ain't going die. Die, let's, do it. let's do a healthcare.gov tutorial. Yeah, come on. <laughs> Health, okay. Healthcare.gov. I think, I think God has proven to me in multiple ways that I'm not meant to die. Like, the way. Uh, <laughs> I'm not meant oh, to die like that. Yeah. <laughs> I'd, have been, I'd have been shot at a couple uh-huh. times. So, you know, I, I'm pretty sure. I, you need I, to be shot with insulin. <laughs> That's what you need, or you will die. It's gonna be worse than a bullet. Yeah. Here go some tutorials. Uh, got a database of environmental assets within that, healthcare. That's yeah. not. Hey, pause, 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 pause. I feel like if you're gonna if you're gonna do a tutorial on health, the last thing I want to see is a skeleton. That means that he didn't. He wasn't healthy. He, well, yeah. I mean, that wasn't a real one, though. I think, right? I don't know. I hope not. Yeah, they're all real. They're, they're donated. Like if you donate your body to science. <laughs> what? <laughs> Healthspacecare.tutorial.com. There's a little bit of tip. I'm, wait. Okay, good. I thought I put a dot with the care. I'm so look, like, this is. But you can get free health care. There's no way. I mean, oh, you can, you can go in there you, and get man, your medicine for free. There's not a chance you can't. I tried to get Ozempic one time. Nah. No. I mean, you probably. I don't know if you can. I think I would need Ozempic more than anybody else right now. No, for sure, for sure. You're you're who it's meant for. Here go one two, right here. <laughs> I mean, for real, you're who it's meant for. You, they should be if that's what it needs to to level you out. But if you keep on going out of whack and you got the biggest, then you know it's gonna take you out. Yeah, it will. 
Yeah. And, and, and relatively uh, a short amount of time if you don't fuck around. I mean, if, you, if you fuck around with not taking your medicine, man. I'm going to get myself back right because I don't want Don to be in my funeral crying. So I'm yeah. trying to tell him. I'm telling you. I'm trying to tell yeah. him. Mm-hmm. I'm going to look a, at you in the casting block. This is a good start. Like These are some of the things I need to sign up with for myself. You Free got health. diabetes? No, no, I hope not. I haven't got tested yet in a while. When's the last time? I don't even know, man. I couldn't even tell you. <laughs> do you be I, feeling dizzy? Feeling dizzy? Like, what do you mean dizzy? Like, you be dizzy? Have you be falling asleep? P dizzy. Dude, I actually, <laughs> wait, wait, like what time? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> in the morning. In the morning. Any time you ain't supposed to be sleeping. <laughs> when you wake dude, up, I, I thought we we all get sleepy sometimes. Like, dude, you be sleepy, right? Dude, I never get sleepy. You ne- do. Me you neither. Talk. I don't never get sleepy okay, either. Now they joke. What about you? <laughs> you get sleepy though, right? Because you got diabetes. You get sleepy. Yeah. Come on, Jake. Man. Jake. I'm in America. Yeah. So. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, yeah. Alex. Yeah. But I'm, I'm just saying, I'm, like, I'm just saying, like how I found out I was diabetic. I was at work and I just kept being dizzy and falling oh, asleep. Shit. That's mm. what made you think. No, <laughs> it was. I just thought it was. I just thought it was weird. I, I was dizzy like every a lot of times. So when I went to the doctor, it was like, boy, yep, boy, your blood sugar is sky high. Damn. <laughs> what was it? Do you remember the number? I don't remember. He's a it medical was, person. Was, I don't know. Uh, it was yeah. high enough to I keep me in the school. hospital for like two days. <laughs> they kept me in that bitch for two oh days. Jesus. Like, I was in that bitch for two days. Right. It looked, it looked <laughs> like my blood, my blood sugar would go down. Then it would come right back up. I'd be like, well, hell, y'all feeding me like, y'all feeding me bread. Like, <laughs> what's going to happen? Like, just because it's drinking zero, seven up, don't mean my sugar. You should do there. keto. I'll do it with you. I don't trust you. Huh? I don't trust you. Why not? We we said we were gonna go to the gym together. We, we are. We start Monday. You keep saying Monday. Monday. <laughs> <laughs> we don't go. We're starting on Monday, dude. Which Monday? I didn't say which one. It's a holiday tomorrow. Yeah. Well, you you can't. What holiday what is holiday? it? Tomorrow? Columbus Day. Indigenous. No. Indigenous. Not Indigenous are people. You, we didn't do our thing. We didn't do our land acknowledgement, dude. Start it off. And we, we still celebrate. I acknowledge that this land was rightfully claimed oh, by the okay. Europeans. Okay. No. No. <laughs> And that was what was meant to happen. No. Yep, do no. yours. For the, it's, this is for the indigenous people. We, we acknowledge their land. The only thing I acknowledge that America came up <laughs> <laughs> on some shit that wasn't theirs. <laughs> Hell yeah. That's, a, hey, Hell yeah. that's oh, the so most American like thing said on this fucking mm-hmm. podcast. That's the most American of us all. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because uh, you and Brandon was just talking about how y'all voting for Trump early nah, out there. See, no, look at this. See, that how that they, that. see how they do that? <laughs> <laughs> Try to get you on board. I would vote for Trump. <laughs> I, would, I would vote for Trump in any comedic type of stuff. But pre- but to run the country, the nigga that got the the suitcase, all the missiles. Hell no, I don't, I don't trust that. He has no idea how to. Fight I don't trust myself with a suitcase that got the keys to the missiles. I will blow up any goddamn thing if I feel so. So you so you so you're not voting for Trump. No, you vote for uh, Cam- Camilla, Kamala, <laughs> Kamala, Kamala. Yeah, I'm gonna vote for huh? Kamala. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah. If I vote, yeah, I feel you because I only voted one time yeah. my whole life. Need to, I, I, I don't that vote. I, I huh? express that. that when Obama first ran, yeah, it's it's reasonable. The, se- the second time I first. didn't vote because I was like, I don't feel like winning line. That is true. Yeah. I mean, it's a, it's a it's a valid argument. Yeah, waiting in line that's to vote. Same here. And it, it kind of sort of you kind of knew he was he was gonna win the second time because who wants to vote for a guy who owns ketchup? Who owns ketchup? Who owns ketchup? Mitt Romney. Mitt Romney. Romney? I think I, he owns like Heinz or I, I don't know, but I remember that was a running joke. Like he think he just owns ketchup as a whole. Like he owns a company that does ketchup. That's what I was told in the joke. Oh, yeah. What if it was married to like a Heinz heiress? Oh, okay, so it was Heinz. I don't know if it was Mitt Romney. I know he's Mormon. Yeah, that's what I was. I knew he was more. So man. there's a chance I think it was a wife that I, I, was involved in the ketchup. Thing. <laughs> yeah, somebody who ran for ran for this country yeah. with some ketchup. Let's fill out mail in vote ballots next week. Fill in mail in. Does <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> Does Mitt Romney own ketchup? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Probably. Uh, what the fuck oh. is that? <laughs> what is this? I don't that know. That don't make any sense. Oh. Don't make any sense. Uh, oh. He said that was a big <laughs> 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 He can't comprehend that. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't say, why is everybody holding ketchup saying Mitt Romney retired? 
<laughs> oh, he retired from the ketchup. Right? <laughs> okay, okay. All right. All it's right. too hot in this room. Man. It is hot. I'm yeah. losing, yeah, we're losing man, our minds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, I don't, know if I'm, I don't know if I'm sweating or just I'm oily. Not. I'm hot. Yeah, I'm sweating. <laughs> it could be both, though. Probably so. Ketchup, my, sand. My friend, What's, I, huh? I couldn't find my lotion. My friend had, like, um, it was like a bottle of lotion, but yeah. it was like oil for, for your friend, huh? A woman. Uh, uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, I was like, you know, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm dark skinned. I should, you know, get the oily look. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The worst thing in the world you could be is black and ashy. That's true. Yeah. That's a person who doesn't give a fuck about his life. And if you see one, run. Yeah, yeah. If he's getting aggressive <laughs> with you, run. They don't care. Yeah. If they're ashy, ashy and dirty shoes. Like if they wore your shoes, if you see a black dude with mm. your shoes on, bad news. Bad news. Every, every kid I grew up with that was ashy is. In jail right now doing life or murder. <laughs> See? <laughs> so I'm going to jail, I man. I was about to say, Brandon's a good guy. I'm a good guy. But you like, you just knee ashy. See? Yeah. That's it's just good. on the darkness of your knees. Okay. So that's acceptable. Yeah. Well, it's just me. So you know, are you one of those guys lotion. when they get out the shower, you'd be it's like, frowned upon. I'm wearing yeah, jeans. I don't need no lotion. Sure. That's you. <laughs> you said that what guy? Are you that guy who just don't give a fuck about his legs, just put lotion on his arms and face? <laughs> I could be that guy. Man, I'm wearing jeans. Brandon, you got like a skincare routine? Yeah, man. What do you do? Put on some lotion <laughs> and, and uh, wash my face. Mm-hmm. With uh, what? With uh, Sarah V. Okay. Ooh, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Sarah fancy. He's got fancy. a white girlfriend. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> that's exactly what that means. <laughs> it's easy. It just says face lotion and face cleaner. That's mm-hmm. that's that's good enough for me. <laughs> and then that's what we do. Is it a lotion or a cleaner? Oh, no, the cleaner than the lotion. Dang. It's a two-step. Yeah. Two okay. And he has, different, he has post-it yeah. notes on each one. <laughs> yeah. One and two. Because then my face going to be ash. Yeah. We don't want that. Don't it's want that. Worse. No. No. I'm trying to get something to knock the oil down. Every time I take a picture, I look on here, I look like I'm oily as shit. Mm. I know it's just sweat, but. Is that good for you? Get like an oil, oil control. I just, yeah, yeah, Fat Kids Deals had a deal on it, $5. So I <laughs> Do you think they'd have that all the time? <laughs> <laughs> so what's up, Pat? Oh no, man. What's just, been going on? What's been going on you with the comedy scene? Oh man, like uh, for me, it's I'm trying to elevate a little bit. You know, saying so y'all see me on stage, I just be you know throwing wild things out there, telling my jokes and stuff. I'm trying to get into the writing stage now. Like writing a joke is so hard for me because it's like I could write a joke and I'd be like I feel confident about it, but the day that I want to Try that joke out. I'd be like, okay, I think I need to change this. I think I need to change that. And writing is always the hardest part for me. Mm-hmm. Like I come up with ideas in the strangest place. Like I can come up with a whole set, just at open mic, just sitting there thinking, like, hmm, I could talk about that. What's the strangest place you came up with an idea? <sighs> at a funeral. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what, what was the idea? Um. Well, I was at a funeral, but I was thinking about my grandfather's funeral. Yeah, I heard the joke before. And I, and actually, I was a little kid when my grandfather died, but I remember that he didn't have no legs and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and I remember, Foreshadowing. Yeah, and I remember when... <laughs> I, remember, I, I remember the funeral vaguely, but, I, I, but as a kid, I always wondered, like, like, why did he have a full casket? He didn't have no legs. So yeah. <laughs> Like, I was so, it just seems I, wasteful. It does. It does. Yeah. Because you could have put them in like an infant. Uh, <laughs> no, you know what I mean? Because they don't have as much the tallness. You, yeah. You know. Know. Was he a big guy? Mm, no, not really. Not big. So you, you could put, could you think he could fit? Probably so. Uh, yeah. But it costs more money. Because <laughs> funerals are expensive as shit. Did y'all yes, have, unless you, got, unless you got insurance, like life insurance? That, shit's, that shit costs money. Well, it's a cremate them. Hmm? What if you just cremate them? That's still a, a few thousand dollars, I you think. Yeah, it's still you a few thousand. Somebody. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> but a whole funeral, like in over 10,000, mm. you're looking at. Damn. Would you pay that much for, for a loved one? Nope. I mean, I, I, would, I would if they wanted it, but I want to make sure my family knows I don't give a flying fuck. <laughs> I'm dead. I don't really care. Right. I mean, stick, like, a pole, stick a pole up my ass and put me on I-95. Holy shit. I don't shit. care. I'm dead. I don't know. Uh, you want that? Hmm? I mean, <laughs> we can make it. Happen. I could see it being pleasurable. What if you're a ghost? Huh? Then you would know. Yeah, Ooh, you a just ghost? Watch yourself. But then I'd be a ghost at the top of a pole on I-95. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, What's better of, than that, baby? Said uh, underground, yeah. Mm. Could we make you into like a rug for the studio? 
Ah, yeah, dude. But you do. You would think my back was hairy. It's not though. So you. I've would, never thought about. You it. would have. To <laughs> <laughs> be honest, I've never. Thought you could make a rug with my front. I got a good amount of hair on there. Brandon, you'll be weaving that one. Yeah. yeah. So look, Brandon, you're just gonna cut me out right here, right from the neck, and just use this part as the like rug. It could be for the bathroom scrape or whatever. The flesh off. Yeah. Okay. Could scrape the flesh off the back. But you you got to do something to it to texturize so the skin. So it, yeah, so it, yeah. Crazy. You have to breathe on it. Mm-hmm. Real life. <laughs> I'm use your mm-hmm. you know, it seems like y'all kind of discussing how to roast a pig. Yeah, that's what it sounds like. That's exactly. That's what. It like. <laughs> I was like, this is crazy. Fuck you. <laughs> like, put it, just for the marinate dom for a couple of days. That's wild. Yeah, for his. <laughs> well, the buzz, the buzz are gonna be like, mm, some good seasoning. <laughs> we ironically put an apple in his mouth. Oh, yeah. Weird method, man. Walt Disney wanted to freeze his head. You want to be a yeah. roasted mm-hmm. like a pig? Wow. How you what, what you want to wow. do? After you're dead, do you have to have a funeral or, or a cremation? Um, I'm like you. I don't care. Yeah, because I'm dead. What you got? I don't care. Whatever's easier. Yeah. That's that is what that should be. What's on your tombstone? Whatever's whatever easier. Whatever's easier. Whatever, what, whatever you feel, because I'm not here. Yeah, uh, mm-hmm. we, could, we could be broke. Well, I mean, yeah, we could be broke. You never know. But yeah. hopefully, if you're broke, we don't go on the debt money. to fucking bury me. Yeah, Just throw me in a box if like it, a you know. Yeah. 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 JJ, what you what, what you got to do to go to heaven? Huh? Oh. After you die, don't you got to do a certain oh, amount of? It's about all about your soul, physical. Body doesn't matter. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Doesn't matter. You don't have to put like the quarters over the eyes or anything <clears throat> like that. No, I just want to be around children. What? My body, <laughs> Brandon, so that they can you. learn from my mistakes. See, I want to go to heaven too, <laughs> <laughs> but I don't want to be around that. Okay. No, I, I would like I to be, be like a, that. <laughs> like weekend at birth. I just want to be a background actor in commercials. Uh, I want know, just I, use my body for that. I want to go to heaven, but I think I'd be trouble in heaven. What? I'll, be, what be, you, what I'll you? be begging God, like, yo, can I go down and hunt this motherfucker for like uh, two I'll minutes, man? Come on. I'll be begging I, God to let me go down here and let me just haunt people for a little minute. Oh, yeah. Yeah, be a That's fat, reasonable. Yeah, fat haunting ghost. I don't know. <laughs> I might break rules, get sent to hell. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be crazy. Hey, man. He'd be the worst ghost trying yeah, to hide. Yeah, you just see him bust for the room. Oh, yeah, oh shit. Hey, man. Hell, my, hell might be fine down there. You no, know. I'm not. I don't think I'm not doing be, this. <laughs> I mean. JJ Town. I just don't gonna, think it would be, dude. Like, no. what, like, what if all your best friends that you were real close with died went no. over here? Sal, he said it, too. Look, it's, it's that joke, but my friend said this. He's like, shit. I'd rather go to hell. Shit, all my friends going to be there. <laughs> and that's your reasoning right now, and this is beautiful. Yeah, like it, 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 I'm not saying I want to go to hell, but like, what if it, like, what if hell is not what it all cracked up to be? No. <laughs> no, it's worse than people think. <laughs> this is not good, man. Because then you're gonna be at the gates and I'm like, but what about this video right here? Replay it. I mean, what if it's bad? What about like all the fire and stuff? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but the fire, man, yeah, the heat, oh. burning internally, and the suffering. I don't think that's true, per se. Oh, well, what do you think it's like? Uh, somebody described it to me one time, and I'm not saying it was right. Mm-hmm. I was young and probably just listened to the motherfucker talk. But it was like whatever your sin was, you're gonna be like, it's gonna be a repeated thing. I guess like a torture thing for you to go through that same thing. Like I don't know, I don't remember vaguely, but I think he put in the vaguely like let's say. Um, so Brandon has to like fuck a football forever. Yeah. yeah. Wow. <laughs> Gluttony, it's just gonna be yeah. like Golden Corral buffet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, Golden Corral is hell. Hey, man. That, is, oh, that, hey, that, that, would, that would definitely be hell because, I because like, as a fat guy, I done got full before. That shit do not feel good. You, be like, mm-hmm. you don't want to move. Yeah, you, you feel be, disgusted with yourself. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know, I've been there actually right. like three days ago. <laughs> <laughs> I'm there right now, dude. Huh? Which was, you know. Well, I went to the store. I was like, I'm going to buy all these like TV dinners for like multiple days. And then I ate uh, like three of them in one night. <laughs> <laughs> and they were like hungry, man. <laughs> Hell yeah. Gosh, dude. Yeah, imagine they how much sodium that was. Oh, it was dude. massive amounts. And I probably <laughs> shouldn't. Seven. My doctor would not like it. I did, it. That, I did that, uh recently. I made like a pot of Rotel because I just wanted some. <laughs> and it was like by the second bowl, I was like, mm. That's funny. Did yeah. you eat the whole pot of Rotel? Not in one night. 
Okay. It took like two, two, three, two, maybe, two, maybe three days. Okay, that's good. I thought you were going to say you ate the whole pot of rotel. No, I can't, no, I can't do that. My, my, my ass will be just fucked up. Destroyed. Like, I can't imagine the shit leakage. you take. Damn. You got leakage? No. Now, nah, I see, I don't believe that. Why? I don't think believe it's possible for you not to have a little leakage. Like what, for my ass? Yeah. No. So you go in there after after you go walking around, you try you wipe and it's perfectly clean. Wipe your ass right now and bring it in. Yep. I, was, well, I took a shit like a few minutes. That's ago. what you was Perfect. doing in there. Exactly. Yeah. I'm yeah. glad you did it while we were in here for an hour and it gets time to air out. <laughs> like, hey man, ate Chinese food, ate some pizza. Shoo. Good combo. Hell yeah, man. Yeah. Good combo. <laughs> 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 that is a good combo. <laughs> What's been new? Because you you're like our pop culture uh, guru. Uh, we trust pop. you on everything pop culture. Go ahead. Uh, well, rest in peace, Wanda Smith. She passed away. Um, rest in peace. She was a you know comedian legend on the radio. Um, unfortunately, I didn't know about her until Cat Williams roasted her. Mm-hmm. And you know, good roast. It was a good roast. Mm-hmm. You know. Rest in peace to her. Um, what else is going on? We watched that on here before. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Funny as hell. That right there? Hell, yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, you, you like to go with death first, so who else? Uh, man. Um, Wendy Houston mother passed. Yep. Sissy Houston, yeah. she passed. She rest in peace. Rest in peace. peace. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Yo, I... Yeah, Matombo. Yeah, not today. The Kenny. Yeah, the, yes, the, the funniest thing about death of Pete a celebrity, Rose. man. Pete Rose. Yeah, Pete Rose. Who's Home, he? Uh, Baseball player. He uh, should be in the Hall of Fame. Should be. Well, Bet on himself. Yeah. Nothing wrong prob- with that. He probably will be. No, no, he one of like the leaders of the neo Nazis died. He fell. Uh, he was Aww. climbing up Hitler's like one of his uh, mountains that he really loved, and he tripped on a root and fell two hundred feet. Yes, that's, that's it. I bet he tripped on a wandering Jew. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. I'm Botany t- joke. I'm gonna tell you my favorite thing about uh, celebrities dying. Next time, grab the mic. No, you go ahead. Go ahead. Like my my the favorite thing, my best thing about celebrity dying is when they post videos of like when they was on some fuck shit or say some shit that was kind of fucked up. Like when Whitney Houston mother died, they played an old video of. Apparently there was some little tension between Whitney Houston and Janet Jackson, and Whitney Houston mom was like, "Fuck that bitch." <laughs> I was like, "Damn." <laughs> <laughs> I got no. They, uh, we get, we asked the hard questions yeah. around here. Uh, now recently, R. Kelly's daughter just came out and said that he sexually assaulted her, and she was just scared to tell everybody. Damn. Do you still listen to his music? Hell yeah. Okay, that's right. Oh, that's yeah. right off the back. Yes. No question like, that. I mean, this is my thing about the R. Kelly thing. And I watched the whole Savannah R. Kelly thing. If this if this man experienced ex, I don't know what I'm saying, I'm drunk. Uh if he if he showed signs of being pedophilia, he should have been stopped before he made all those great music. Like the high, like the principal said that he used to hang. That's around. a great point. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it was like like you can't you can't you can't let him get away with all this for for all forever, and then next day you know he drops all these classic hits albums, and now you want to mm. cancel his music. That shit's not happening. Yeah, you mm. should have. Okay. I mean, his music fully redeemed him. Yeah, you know? yeah, it did actually. Yeah, I mean, no, it, no, it, no, it did. No, it did not. No, bro, this man, bro, this man was on trial for child pornography. The video was out there. Everybody, except me, because I was a kid at the time, watched the video. He made Chocolate Factory, and he was found not guilty. Ain't, isn't that in a fucked up way redeemable to the fucked up mindset of people? But it, it should be to you. I mean, it wasn't to me. I was a kid. I didn't give a fuck. I just wanted the music. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. mean, but at the same time, the girl did I'm just saying, man, look, all I'm saying is, as a, he married Aaliyah when she was 15. Yeah, I didn't say shit. He this made is, he is made true. a child sex tape, and y'all sold that shit like a pornography on the streets. Now, this is both Fuck facts. Up. And the, even the high school principal said R. Kelly used to hang around the school as a grown ass man fucking with kids. Y'all didn't do shit neither. He made twelve play. He made I believe I could fly. <laughs> he made he wrote all these hits, and then now y'all want to say cancel his music? It's not happening. Uh huh. Okay. It's not. That's a firm stance we take here. At <laughs> <laughs> so you separate the Uncanceled. artist from the music. Yes. Yeah, like, like because yeah, people still look at Dr. Seuss. You still right. like Walt Disney? Mm-hmm. So yeah, what did they, okay. do? they were Nazis. Oh yeah, well, 
Nazis. I ain't gonna do slave that. shit. It was oh, up. that's what what, what they do. They're racist. I the, uh, made some books about slavery and stuff. Uh-huh. Like jokes. She's his wife. She's now, his wife. now kill yeah, I would say that's a tad bit different than child rape. Yeah. I mean, the ice cream theme song was maybe we can't racist, huh? The ice cream theme song is racist. The ice cream theme. Song. Ice cream theme. Song. Oh, it's probably DC. It's probably like DC shit, oh, yeah, it's shit. Like, yeah, that's racist. We they you still bump this shit. You ain't never heard ice cream song. The ice cream theme song. Oh yeah, I like, heard like, about that. Let me like, search it up. Like when the ice cream truck is coming down the street. Oh, that, that, oh that, okay. that, that is a racist fucking sound. That's what the mm. KKK used to play. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the only person whose music is gonna be canceled because his fuck shit is dirty because he ain't dropped that many good music. So. <laughs> well, his he, music wasn't good enough to redeem his. Yeah, yeah, like he only had one song I liked by him. And that was it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So he needs to go to jail forever. I mean, that would look like. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't. I'm sure, that's what it felt like. Yeah. That's crazy. So, is there any white singers who did anything fucked up? No, never. Not one. Not one. Not one. No, there had to have been some. Jerry Lee Lewis? Like all of them. Elvis. Yeah, like yeah. literally all of them. Well, they got grandfathered in. Elvis, Elvis Presley? Remember that country nah, singer yeah. back in the 50s? I forgot his name. What was his name? Hank something. I believe there's some newer Hank than Williams? this, though. Maybe. Yeah, I was trying to think of something newer. Yeah. Uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers? Oh, yeah, he's bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah oh, Hank yeah. Williams well, that's crazy. Not, uh, like, well, then there's like, uh, like that's, what's his hey, name? Come back to this picture. That man look like he raped huh? a little girl. They dude who wrote the plays that married his stepdaughter or his daughter. Woody Allen. Woody, Woody Allen. Allen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah that well, he's not still, a singer, still, but he made still, art. Yeah. Man, there's no way a play is fucking good enough to redeem that. Those movies. <laughs> you know? Yeah. He had great movies, though. True. Mm-hmm. No, well, I've never seen his movies. Yeah. Me neither. I don't know. But, <laughs> 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 but, but I heard that'd be people that's highly crazy. acclaimed, I he's guess like, we'd say. Yeah, he's like a pedo. Yeah. Damn. Hmm. That's crazy, man. So, so any more hard questions? Uh-huh. Is, yeah, I got one. Uh, Brandon. Go ahead. You, you still watch the Bill Cosby show? Hell yes. Yeah, I get what you mean. Like. <laughs> because, because it's like, we, we'd be like, that's not Bill. We replaced the actor with somebody else in our heads. No, it's it's just, look, art is art. I mean, it's, yeah, so the art a lot was, of artists fucked up in a kind of way. Like, who's yeah. the guy that cut his ear off? To, oh, Vincent Van, Van Gogh. Van Gogh? Well, I thought it was Picasso, but yeah. No. Um, <laughs> solid. <laughs> solid, yeah, yeah, like nah, one of them. It's, Picasso it's, more recent. Yeah, like fuck those shit creates good art. I mean, allegedly Michael Jackson was sleeping with kids, and hey, we don't bring up Michael Jackson yeah. in this podcast. Right? Hey, hey, I'm the biggest. He's a saint, Jackson. and he didn't do anything wrong. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I wasn't. I wasn't. I wasn't invited to the bedroom, so I don't know what was going on. Nah, with kids. you wouldn't have been invited. No, I'm not. I'm, Brandon might have got in there. Well, Brandon would have definitely got in. Brandon, Brandon probably would have lived there. <laughs> At the ranch. <laughs> yeah. With him and Macaulay Culkin. <laughs> he would have been sleeping the same bed with Bubbles. <laughs> no, no, I wouldn't have, dude. Bubbles is scary as shit, man. Yeah. Bubbles is terrifying. <laughs> Why? Cause that dude, that was a whole chimpanzee, man. Fuck that. Mm-hmm. I don't they, fuck with chimpanzees. With, like, y'all, probably, y'all probably, y'all probably would been best friends. No, man, dude. Especially because I know what they do. Like we're gonna be best friends for a year. Like what then they do? Then that shit change the next year. They get big. Mm-hmm. And then when the right moment happens, they snap on you. Like I remember this dude. He used to bring a birthday cake to all these. This one monkey, right? And no, no, he brought it one time. So he used to always go visit his monkey. And then one time he goes visit it again with a birthday cake. And then they're like, oh, he's not going to give us a birthday cake? So then they rip all his shit off, even his dick. What? I mean, yeah. I mean, oh, over a fucking off. cake. Over I mean, cake. You know about this? I mean yeah, I've heard but this. who would bring a monkey a cake? Well, he loved his monkey. But they don't mean the monkey loved cake. No, that cake. No, no that's, the why, he, that's why he cake. ripped his shit off because he didn't bring they cake. They wanted again. the cake. Oh, jealousy. Yeah. They're petty ass mm-hmm. bitches. Yeah, don't fuck with them. Don't fuck with them. Get a little monkey. Get a capuchin or something. Mm-mm. A what? What's that? A capuchin. A capuchin. How you spell that? A capuchin. I don't know how to spell it. Capuchin. Uh, this on an episode on Naruto. Oh, there it is. Thank you. It helped me out. I, I couldn't oh, eat nice. it. nice. Right? You just get one of them. Oh, yeah. I saw this at a pawn shop. Like, they have it in the cage. Who's selling a monkey at a pawn shop? <laughs> no, they weren't selling it. It was their pet. It was oh, their pet. I was to say. <laughs> who pawns a monkey? He <laughs> steals all the stuff in their shop. Nah, yeah. They just in the cage. Brandon, uh. These are the ones that beat up, like, tourists in China. Yeah, yeah. They steal their phones and shit and then get yeah. a barter Gangs with them. probably use them, dude. Huh? Yeah. 
gangs. Probably. Oh, the steal shit. Hell yeah, yeah. pickpocket. The yeah, best that's thing. smart. But like, go over there, act like your friend. Oh, so that's the monkey that was in the ladder. That's a boo. That's a boo. No, that's the one from. Uh, What's the night at the museum? Uh, uh, yeah, and yeah, Zookeeper. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Zookeeper. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We fuck with that. That was a surprisingly good movie, movie to me. Which one? It's the same. The first movie. one. I've seen the first one. Oh yeah, no, the, the night at the museum was a, that was great yeah, to I me. I watched man. this. I watched that with a girl, and I was half I was like, this is surprisingly good. Money of booze. The guy, no. the guy in short shorts from Reno 911 wrote night at the museum. Really? Yeah. Oh shit, oh. Daryl. Thomas Lennon. Yeah. I'm just, I I'm just goofing, new boot man. goofing. Yep. Yeah, I had, I had the worst luck with women. I don't got no booze. Mm, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> you got no booze. The, the first conversation you had with me uh, was uh, in front of Fusion, and I didn't know you like at all. And you just came up to him. He said, "Does this sound weird? My girl uh, staying at her cousin's house, but I, I done been dating her for years. And I ain't never met him." And then I was like, he, she's cheating on you." You don't remember that? I remember that, but me and my girl was only good for a year. <laughs> okay, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, but, yeah. Was it really her cousin? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think there's Hey, no look, man, let that. me tell you something about me. Once I feel like that shit wasn't going nowhere, I just packed up and left. I didn't even care. It mm-hmm. wasn't even a breakup. I just left. Yeah. Mm. You like to bring up uh, real conversations on the first time you talk to people, right? Yeah. That's what's up. Just whatever's going on. The worst thing that's going on in your life, you say. Yeah, let's talk about this. What's the worst I've thing that's met. going on in your yeah, life? Yeah, what's going on in your life, man? Well, right now my life is pretty decent. I'm not even, I can't even complain. For the first oh, time, yeah. for the first Hold time up. this year, um, you know, like I said, I went through the breakup. Uh, mm-hmm. That was a, that was a, yeah. you had to get out of there. Yeah, I had to get out right. of there. Uh, it was eh, um, hustle my way, got my own shit. You know, my folks helped me out, helped me get a car, got my own place. Now I'm chilling. I'm yeah, good. yeah. Like, you hear that, ladies? Look in the camera. Right in. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Got my own place, man. <laughs> Hell yeah. That was good. Yeah. That was good. Yeah, I'm it feels good. It feels good. It feels good when you can walk around your house naked. Oh, mm. See, that's what's up. Yeah. Walking around with your Johnson now. That's good yeah. shit. Yeah. Magic Magic Johnson. <laughs> Yeah. Brandon, Brandon has too many cameras in his house. Dude. Yeah, he can't. Oh do yeah, it. my mom's house. Yeah, it's, it's like a prison, man. You got a camera outside in the front. You got a camera in the back. You got a camera in the hallway. You got a camera in the front room. You got one in the kitchen. You damn near almost got one in the bathroom. Thankfully, they can't. I'm just joking. They don't have that. They I'm don't just have joking. that. In case <laughs> but they CPS can't, is watching but this. But they can't do in calls. You can call. Your yeah, mama don't trust you. You can call in there. What do you mean you can call? You can call. Well, because they got a dot, so she'd be like, "Hey, uh, you all right?" or something like that. The, uh, if you Emma's stay in the bathroom too long. Oh yeah, but now they just so when you're in the bathroom too, she's like, "Hey." Oh, thankfully no, no. Oh. But back then they were just like, "You okay?" Knock on the door or something. Be like, "Hey man, mm. you good?" And you're in there <laughs> trying to take care of business. Yeah, yeah. Handling some good business, man. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? We all know what I. <laughs> we got to get Brandon. Out. <laughs> if you guys want to donate to the GoFundMe to get Brandon out of the, of uh, his home house, <laughs> I'll set you, it up in the comments below. But I thought you did move out already, though. No, oh, no, no. I just go back and forth. I'll be at my house, my girl's house. That's it. You ever walk around naked at your girlfriend's house? Never in my <laughs> life. Never, never. <laughs> yeah, why not? No. Did you ever think about no, it? No, never. Man. Why, no. why not? No, because why? 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 That's man, if if you if you, no. if you lay if you lay it down right, you can walk around naked. No, no. Yes, no. no, she. I don't no. think she lives by herself. No. Oh, oh yeah. No. Oh, my no, bad. nobody yeah. cares oh, about all that. No. Yeah. Well, Pat said it right. <laughs> I actually agree with a lot of the things hey, that you said this episode. Oh, I don't know if you want to do go with that. No. Oh, okay. So, do you at least walk around the bedroom naked? Bedroom? No. How do you? It, f- so, never mind. I so t- hold on. You walk around the bedroom naked after you get done fornicating? Yeah. Why not? It's my room. Yeah, but yeah. I if. If I was you, <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm just, no, hey, for real. Look, look, look. I, I mean, I'm just, I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm not walking around. I mean, I walk to the look, bathroom naked. Take she a piss. knew before we got in that bedroom what she was getting mm-hmm. herself into. Yeah. She knew that there was a lot. Yeah. So if I got it, so when I get through and I get up, I'm gonna walk around naked. I'm but gonna, you, you don't want I, her I like that. Yeah. I like this guy. You can't argue with that. That is sick. I'm just saying, everybody has post not clarity, right? So you don't want hers to happen, and then you're the first thing she sees. Once I bust, that nut, okay, I'll make it. Okay, I'll like make it. Snow. Black hole okay, I'll, I'll tell you. I say it like this. Once I bust that nut, I don't give a fuck. You don't want. Maybe she wanted to come back around. Maybe I don't. 
That's, that's true. <laughs> that's true. If you don't, yeah. His post nut dominates her post nut. That is true. Yeah. And also, you have to orgasm to have that. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. So I wouldn't have it. <laughs> when, when Pat sits around his room naked, he sits around. <laughs> you don't want to talk to you like that, Pat? <laughs> hey, Maybe true. Hey, Pat, I, know, I, know, I know what I am. Pat, Pat, you had one of the best roasts last night. Can you tell oh, us about yeah. what you said about Brandon? Oh, about the hairline. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, I said Brandon like a civil rights, a civil rights activist. He has the hairline of a civil rights activist. Yeah, yeah. for autism. <laughs> he just added that. Oh my god, have you seen the videos on TikTok and Instagram reels of the? It's a company they only employ autistic people. Where? And they no. go around and do videos about like uh, facts and shit, and uh-huh. they all have shirts on that says uh, like I love somebody with autism and stuff like that. Dude, it's so good. Oh, uh, yeah, we need to it's watch so that. It's so fucking yeah. good. How much they making? <laughs> you want to apply? <laughs> Probably more than, than Publix. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. Should, you want us to enter you into it? Man, oh, yeah. If I can get in there, I'll, I'll do it. <laughs> yeah. Dude, you might be the CEO. Maybe. Wouldn't Immediately. You would come in there and clean up. Boy, you'll be the spokesperson. You'll, uh-huh. like, you'll support them on the pod every day. Oh, hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. Support them good. I want some more hard questions, man. I, don't, I love hard questions. Go ahead, Jay. Give him a hard one. Think of something. Okay, dude. What? What? Uh, oh, somebody. Somebody asked me this at work the other day. Okay. And, and I thought this was very profound. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's one of those questions that means something else. Okay. If you're walking down the side of the road mm-hmm. and you see a, a cardboard box, mm-hmm. and it ha- and everybody's going to answer this. Okay. Mm-hmm. You you see a cardboard box. It has cats in it, like little kittens. How many kittens do you see? In the box, in your head, how many do you see? Nine. Nine, okay. Seven. Seven. You can say the question one more time. <laughs> so you're walking down the road and you see a cardboard box on the side of the road. Okay, so I see a cardboard box on the side of the road. And yes, it's... and there's kittens in there. Okay. How many kittens do you see in the box? Like in your mind, how many do you see? How big is the box? <laughs> Like like stand like standard size like box. Like a standard box. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, like. Are they on top of each other, or is it just like are they at the bottom? Just how many you got? There's not a right. There's answer. not a right answer. What do you see? It's just in the how box? many oh, does your shit, mind man. imagine? Damn, hold on. Count them out. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay. Probably seventeen. <laughs> seventeen. And, and it's interesting that you say that, Brennan. Oh, because really? The, the psychological question that that is, however many cats you imagined in the box, that's how many minors you've slept with. Oh, no. That's Damn, not, Brandon. Hey, this yeah. is a lie. This is gone. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, thank God. It's, a, it's supposed to be how many kids you want. Oh, oh I mean, 17? You said nine. Yeah, I definitely you don't said want seven. That's bullshit, then. You said 17. That's, that's, that's odd because I did want a lot of kids. <laughs> so I guess it worked on him. Yeah. yeah. I'd be, if I had nine kids. That just means you have nine kids somewhere. Well, that if you had bad. nine kids. As long as you don't have to take care of them. If you had nine that kids. That one in Korea. Be. There's at least two in Korea. Dude, if there's a, <laughs> some big ass eyebrows, stocky dude over in Korea, <laughs> it'd be half Filipino though because the Koreans didn't really. <laughs> really fuck with the niggas that much. But uh, Filipinos, <laughs> hey, for a guy like you in Korea, dude, you clean. I'm talking about the baddest. The baddest? Baddest Filipinos you ever seen in your life. They're like fat black guys? Oh, yeah. They're like anything with money. Uh, and like your money stretches farther. Oh, shit. Like my belly? Hey. hey. There you go. Let me get hey. you a little. Hey, <laughs> I like that. He's uh, on. No, nah, I can't do it, man. I love black women. Oh, so you only... You only Mess with black girls. I mean, I fucked all kinds, but if I want to marry one, it's going to be a dark skin. Oh, so if you get like a, a Asian or a white, you just strictly, that's just strictly business. Mm-hmm. But if you want to fall in love, mm-hmm. beautiful Nubian queen. Yeah, I need mm-hmm. a black woman. That's how JJ thinks, too. I, I believe that firmly. Oh, <laughs> they just, well, mine's a little bit more open to interpretation. They just can't be white. You get your, I, I, feel like, I feel like JJ gave him a bad black bitch. Oh, yeah, dude, he would get the baddest one. Yeah, for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't know what to say at all. Nah, should just be should you. make it. Don't you should be. Just be you, man. Nah. What if I start dressing all cool and stuff? No more huge if you, jeans. If you get a lineup, cool. dog, I'm talking about a <laughs> fresh lineup. No, that would never happen, bro. Man. Oh man, dog, you look like Jeremy did last night. Do he shaved his beard off? 
Mm-hmm. And he has a. Uh, Are you about to say he's hot now? No, no, no. He still looks <laughs> worse. I mean, but not, not worse. But he look he looks a little better. Okay, like a m- little bit more presentable. Still mm-hmm. walks like that. Nipple you know? still pierced. I guess. Toes still painted. I mean, probably. Still dropping in bombs. I guarantee when that. When did he start this? Hmm? Last night. But he was, oh, he when he was calling you night. that the other day. What? <laughs> That's crazy. The civil rights gene activated. Damn. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> that Martin the King hairline. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Frederick yeah, Douglass. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Oh, that dreams, How are my dreams? Dreams are good. My dreams are good. Dreams what are you dreaming day. about? I'm going to wake up. Yeah, Black right. autistic kids and white autistic kids, we're all going to come together. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. And everybody's going to do the same shit. So, yeah. And everybody's going to go to Monday Night Raw. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Summer Slam, yeah. Oh, shit. I got to get back into it. Well, yeah. yeah. We got uh, we got confirmation that we got a wrestler that's going to beat the shit out of Brandon. Oh, my God. Yeah. But we got you. You're going to have a, a fucking pro walkout. You got Hell your cape. Yeah. You got your mask. You got your singlet. Your wrestling shoes. Hell yeah. He's coming out there and he's wrestling a real wrestler. And this guy said, he asked, he was like, what do you want to do? Like, how do you want to do this? Do you, do you want me to punish him? Yeah. And then me and Kim said, absolutely. Punish. Punish. Hell yeah. I'm not going to lie. I would like to be your wrestling manager because that's sure. one thing me and you got to come. We're <laughs> yeah. wrestling fans. You got it. You got it. Yeah. Hell yeah. Plus, yeah. it could be motivation. Oh my God. Around. He's uh, Paul Barrel. Ba- Paul Barrel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. That could happen. What's his name? Paul, Paul Barrel. Yeah. Rest in peace. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Oh yeah, you could come. You can you can come to the shoot. Will you do that? Put some like white uh, makeup on. You be his Paul Bear. You want to do white face? It's not white face. It's just like powder. Like you're dead. You're the undead. Uh, take it. Yeah, get your little suit. Uh-huh. Hell yeah. And you could do white face. Who gives a fuck? No, nobody. Cares. Uh, nobody cares. White people don't really have that kind of. Yeah, I don't care. Yeah, see, you know, <laughs> I tried to get JJ to do brown face for our sw- our swap. Yeah. I tried. Yeah, I tried. They they wouldn't let me through the doors. <laughs> it's not a very yeah. Equitable be careful place. with that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, Pat, you're real good at following the rules. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> if I get canceled, I get canceled for something that I feel strongly about. Uh huh. I guess. What, what you would you what what mm-hmm. hill would you die on? Like what would you get canceled Great for question. that you would not go back on? Well, I did the arcade thing. I ain't going back on that motherfucker at all. Yeah, um, yeah we yeah. I don't know. It just got to be an opportunity to present myself to me. Like like every everything that comes my way, I I always put a perspective on it how I see it as. Like with the you brought up Bill Cosby thing. I at first I well I kind of still don't believe it per se. I'm not saying that he didn't have sex with those women. I'm just saying, like, I don't know. For a man to rape that many women back in those days, eh. It's kind of easier. A black Definitely dude raping easier. a whole bunch of women? White women at that? But he transcended race because he was Bill Cosby. No, he was White dead. people loved Bill Cosby. I mean, loved him. They love Mike Tyson, but when you rate that black girl, he sure they go to jail. Uh, I, white Mike Tyson has been on more white podcasts and TV shows after post-rape than... I mean, it's like it didn't even happen. Well, every, well, yeah, people who kind of uh, and I don't, I don't like how comfortable people are around him. Yep. He is a maniac. I have a friend like this. He's a, he will hurt you. Mm-hmm. He will hurt you if he snaps. Mm. And I don't, I don't. Yeah, everybody's don't, just like, oh, let's don't, fuck with Mike. Let's slap him in the back of the head. Like, don't, don't, don't be the one. You, who you did gotta, that? I'm just saying. Those the ones you got to make happy, Drunk though. Dude. Huh? Those the ones you got to keep happy. Like they, they okay as long as they don't snap. So whatever makes them happy, give it to them. Yeah, but those people don't have like rational, like what what they're gonna snap about. It could be about anything. Then you just bam. Yeah. Look, all now my, you're getting choked out. All my Tyson need is some weed and some head every now and then. He's great. You gonna provide him with both of those? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not in that task bracket to be his friend, so you ain't gotta worry about it. What if he snaps? While he's doing it? Yeah, he's there whatever keep him happy. So you're not doing snap. it right. Yeah. What if you weren't doing it right and he snapped on you? Hit you like, on the back of the head. I wouldn't be, right. be, be doing it at all. <laughs> That's good. That's good. <laughs> That's good, man. That's good. Yeah, yeah. That's good. So what else is going on, Pat? Oh, man. Um, trying, to get, trying to get my own podcast jumping myself, man. Oh, yeah? yeah? I heard you and Ty. Yeah, man. Hopefully me and Ty get that started, man. Like, I've been knowing Ty since I first started doing comedy. 
How long ago was that? It was like what going on three years now. Three years. Heck yeah. Strong. Strong. Performing now, we had, in Chattanooga. We had, yeah, yeah. Birmingham. Yeah. New, New Orleans. New Orleans. Hell yeah. Yeah, we had a little, you know we had a little fucked up shit, but we cool. You know it was my fault. Mm-hmm. I believe that. <laughs> yeah. It's always my fault. Mm-hmm. <laughs> whenever, whenever, you, whenever I have beef with somebody, nine times out of ten, it's my fault. <laughs> I just said, to take responsibility. Yeah. That's yeah. Awesome, oh, man, I'm big on accountability. I know I'm a fucked up person. <laughs> <laughs> I done did and said some fucked up shit in my life. Mm-hmm. What's the worst thing you've ever done? <laughs> yeah. Huh? What's the worst thing you've ever done to somebody else? To somebody? Mm. Hmm. The most fucked up thing I... Well, there wasn't what. No, I ain't telling that story. They'll get me locked up. Uh, <laughs> I got you. Say I it. A uh, yeah. <laughs> few, more, few more years I could tell that story, but not right now. Uh, yeah. And it was nothing non sexual. It was just a little. <laughs> it yeah. Nothing non sexual? Nothing uh, non sexual. Like it. <laughs> it wasn't nothing non sexual. Uh, <laughs> Non-sexual. <laughs> it was nothing sexual. Damn, I'm retarded. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> I think yeah, about this for a second. Like, like, I, I, might be, I might be right there with Brandon. <laughs> right there with Brandon. What does that mean? What is Brandon? What's Brandon? It means that you are, very, you are a very gifted person. You got gifts. Oh, my God. First, the challenge. Yeah. Now now the gifts. What is going on, That's Brandon? That's what I'm saying. That, but that, but, that, that, makes, but that makes a great comedian. That mm-hmm. makes a great... Oh, Where okay. one sense is diminished and other is heightened. Yeah, like I heard a comedian say one time that yes. to be to be a good yes. comedian you have yes. to have a yes. matter of fact I think I think you told me that one time. What? That to be a comedian you gotta have some type of sense of mental problem to be to go on stage and make people laugh. I yeah, say you had to. yeah. <laughs> he said. That. He said. No, that. I mean you got to be a little crazy just to get up on that stage. And yeah, be good. Like, yeah. It follows that you're crazy. But the yeah. thing, yeah. but the thing I love about it most is when I freaking inspire people. Like I got people in Birmingham. Um, shout out to uh, Aja Whedon. Uh, she she loves comedy. She be want to try it, but I don't think she tried it yet. But she said I give her hope that she can do it. So, yeah. so she got that. My cousin want to do comedy too. Me and him grew up talking about comedy. That was that was our whole thing. Like mm-hmm. even before I thought about being a comedian, I grew up on Comedy View. So that shit was yeah, like, me too. So when I always took my pain and made it to a joke. That's all. That was always my thing. Like that was a hobby to make it a joke. Like goddamn, uh, I don't think I should talk about this because my dad might see this. He might get sad. Uh, uh-huh. But I don't care. Uh, <laughs> my mom passed away when I was 16. And the fucked up part about it, she died in the house. Like, she had a heart attack. And, I, you know, she died like that. And it was like, to keep myself from crying, I had to make a joke. Mm-hmm. Like, I had, to take, I had to tell so many fucking jokes to make myself laugh. And until I just said something, I was like, damn, that's a fucked up joke. But it's funny. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't even remember the joke, but I just know it was a funny joke. Like, laughter keeps me sane. So mm-hmm. that's that's the one reason why I stayed doing comedy. It was just something to do. Hell yeah. I feel you on that. JJ likes to say fucked up jokes. Uh, what was your joke last night? Am I roast on me? Oh, dude. Talk about. <laughs> I love this joke. I think uh, it's okay. I said, Dom and I both look like we would have shot Trayvon Martin. But he would have done it for the bag of Skittles. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it was funny, but that line of black people. Oh, they, they did not like, like it. Yeah. Oh, what are you guys talking? Well, they loved well, it. Well, actually, I, I, I think they, I think they thought it was funny because all you heard them say was "God damn." Yeah. <laughs> True. True. Black, but yeah, yeah, they respected it for sure. Yeah, black people, black people love dark comedy more than I think. Like, you just mm, gotta, you gotta do like, it right. Yeah, but you gotta say, you gotta say it with some strength. You gotta say it like, yeah, you shit, mm. you can't be a bitch yeah, about it. Yeah, yeah, like Jake. Yeah, <laughs> whispering and shit into the mic. I don't know why Jake he does has a this. weak constitution. <laughs> Piece of shit, ain't that right, Brandon? No. <laughs> Good man. <laughs> Like I yeah, like I did it like I remember my first uh my first showcase I ever did. I did it like at the foundation over there by AM. My first joke was um a pedof- a pedophile joke and I said that shit with so much confidence that every black person that bitch died. Like, what was it? Uh shit. It was um that damn it was something about Beyond Scared Straight. Mm-hmm. And I was saying like, hell, if I was the executive producer of Beyond Scared Straight, I would have the person to tickle the kid's booty. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Like, I would basically yes. tell I would tell them, hey, look, you got you got you got to let them know, man. If you're gonna act an ass, you might have to give a little ass. You go to that prison cell. <laughs> what the fuck, <laughs> Damn, bro? Like, niggas, like, like, bro, niggas ate that shit. I thought that shit was funny as hell. I guarantee you, Damn. the crime rate would go down in this yeah. country. Hell yeah! <laughs> but that wasn't that wasn't even the most fucked up. That wasn't even, that wasn't even the most fucked up joke I told them that, that day. The other one was even more funnier because, like I said, my cousin loves comedy. 
And, you know, one time uh, we was having a conversation, and I just said, would you rather be gay or a pedophile? And he was like, shit, pass me a 16-year-old. Oh, <laughs> I was like, no. wow. Oh, my <laughs> and that was a, it was a true fucking... Now, he, that doesn't sound like a joke. <laughs> but it was it was it was something situation. leading up to that joke. Oh, yeah. But when I got to that punchline, laughter. Never told a joke again personally, but it was laughter. <laughs> I was drunk, so <laughs> <laughs> that does absolve you. Yeah, Damn, that's crazy. Same Wait, it? same way about what? Which which bar? about sixteen year olds? No, I don't. No, no. <laughs> well, Bernie, you're number eighteen yourself. Twenty one. Yeah, oh. he can't be fucking with 21. Oh, I, I used 18. So I was 18. I was 18. A little bit. Brandon has a fiance. He's not yeah, doing anything. No, he doesn't yeah. even watch porn no more. You get married at 17. And she's of age. Yeah. You get married at 17. Yeah. Older than me. What's that mean? I mean, mm-hmm. wait, still wait, not, wait. First of all, it's still not 16. Yeah, and 17. <laughs> you get married at 16 if you get parents' permission. Why do you know... I they, did learn that in high school. R. Kelly I did learned it with that. Aaliyah. I learned that. In no, school. only reason, I, only reason I know is because I took a, a law class in college, and they gave us the fucking law of Alabama. And I just mm. read that shit, and I just saw it. Okay. I so, think it was a fucked up law, but mm. yeah. speaking of underage, uh, Brandon, didn't something happen to you with the dog? You fucked the little dog. I didn't fuck it. I never fucked the dog. In my no, life. he didn't fuck the dog. The but dog I, I remember when I was a kid, I did almost. I did basically get raped by a dog. It happens. Like, but thankfully, all my clothes was on, man. It was outside. Like, <laughs> How did you lose Freaky the fight? Man? <laughs> well, because I was a kid. I was like, what? Okay, so so let's see. The year was 2011. <laughs> so let's see. How old was I in 2011? Eight. I was seven years. No, eight years old. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I was seven. I wasn't eight yet. Yeah. No, I was eight. So you know, it was, it was you know, early seven, on. You know, a seven-year-old got a mean kick in him. Yeah, but look, I was a kid that didn't believe in myself, and I was very small, and this dog was very big. Your mama. <laughs> <laughs> and we, I, might, we, we might need to investigate your mama. Let me tell you. No, it, I was at my friend's house, and I got over my fear of dogs recently. So when I saw this big dog come at me, I was like, oh, shit. Then it jumped on me and kept trying, like, you know. Get up in there and mm-hmm. like pounding. You know how dogs do when they grab something. They pound real it fast. And then my friend like get off my my friend right. He mm-hmm. held the stick and <laughs> throw it off. And it, it was it was a weird thing. I ain't never had a dog try to grab me, but you ain't yeah. never tried a dog try to hump you. You never yeah. had that. I've had small yeah, right. dogs, big dogs, all that dogs. It's messed up. Oh. So this purpose. has happened more than once. Yeah. Well, yeah. My little dog. Sometimes I try to stop them from doing stuff. Then they get on your leg and just start doing that. You just push them off. Mm-hmm. You know. You don't Would let you let a dog do that now? A no. big dog, a big dog. What about like a cane corso? Yeah. How are you gonna control a cane corso? You though? can't. You just See let what it I happen. mean? You just have to let it finish. You're gonna have to hope. I'm not. I don't, well, it might break seal. I don't want to. If it breaks seal, we're in trouble. We're gonna have to figure this out. Yeah. But uh, I don't know, man. Dude, you can get that off you, right? Somebody, somybody got to help, man. Well, I'll Nobody's help. Gonna, I'll help you. Like man. you can't do. If there's a dog raping somebody. a cane corso, raping me, let's see what this thing looks look like. like. You ever seen one, Brandon? I don't know my dogs at all. Listen, I look man. at this. Look thing, at this big dude. ass dog. You better because then, dude. Who had that dog? Dude, you got to help get it off. I could take that dog. Who ha- who had that dog? <laughs> Your friend had that I could dog. Definitely no, take no, that but dog. not that dog. I'll show you the dog that I'm talking about. They use about. these things to kill lions, dude. Not that dog. No, it's that's this dog. That check. dog tried to help you? Yeah, no, no, okay, well, that makes sense. Those are mean as hell. Yeah, they are mean. I, my uncle had two of them, bro, and they were the meanest I didn't fucking know. thing. I, didn't know. I thought he was trying to type in Chihuahua. Nah. <laughs> I like you let a chihuahua hump you. You you're just a bitch. <laughs> yeah, man. But thankfully, it's like I wasn't there volunteering. I was trying to get my way off. Of it. I I it. This is the dog that did it to you, bro. Yeah, I've yeah, never seen a dog those. like that before. A chow? I've never seen. Called a chow. him bad. Oh, we used to have one that was a, a stray, and everybody knew. Stay away from this motherfucker. They got purple tongues. That's what yeah. I mean. Yeah. yeah. What's that mean? The purple tongue? It just, just bite the, the shit out of you. Purple. Oh shit! Look at it. You see the picture with the purple tongue? Yeah. Yeah, our problem was like in my neighborhood was pit bull. Like we had a pit bull to always run at the gate, and then my friend was like, "Man, that thing can't get off." One day it snapped and jumped over to get somebody, and the car came at the same time, so it's gone. That's kind of awesome. Yeah, yeah. he yeah. baited the because dog. it was right next to my house, <laughs> right next to my house. So that could have been me and my dog. You know what I mean? Just mm-hmm. chilling. Because <laughs> some people don't know how to control their dogs in my neighborhood, man. I hate horrible that. gates. One dude's trying to fight. I'm trying to get my dog. Like we might die tonight. Because mm-hmm. this dude can't control his dog. Yep. I hate when people can't control their dogs or their kids. Yeah. Man, fuck Get the it. fuck out of here and tell these oh, little motherfuckers man. to sit the fuck down. Hate That's it. what I'm saying. Or don't take it out. Keep it in your house yeah, so you exactly. can eat your ass. Tell them, Brandon. Yeah, man. You want to? You, you can't control it? Uh-huh. One day it's going to not... Hold on, let me rephrase that. <laughs> One day you're not going to be able to yeah. control it. 
It's gonna control your ass. Uh-huh. Well, you're gonna be in your house and you be like, hey, Sparky, I don't like that. Sparky's gonna be like, I don't give a fuck. Sit down and be quiet, bitch. And then it's gonna eat you or some shit. And you're gonna be fucked up. Mm. Wondering what the fuck happened in your life. Well, see, back in my day, when I was coming up, it was okay to beat your kids' ass. These days, they got too many laws. You can't do that no more. I was talking about dogs. <laughs> <laughs> you could be, be the dog ass, too. Oh, yeah. I mean, if the dog finna kill you, but dude, if you can't control your dog, how you gonna do that? Mm-hmm. You kick the shit out that motherfucker. But, but if you can't control it, and it's stronger, though. And it's a doggy that You shoot word. that little motherfucker. Yeah, but what if you don't believe in guns? Some people be like, hey, man, I'm They're have real. A gun. How about saying, <laughs> like, if you don't have a leash, if you don't have a leash, you're probably not going to. I ain't going to lie. It. People say stuff like that. I look at them weird. Like, how you going to not believe in something that's just obviously there? Like, I had a homeboy in college. He said he didn't believe in condoms. But I'm like, I mean, I kind of feel like. Nah. Why? I mean, I mean kids again. condoms suck. Let's huh? be honest. Does he have any kids now? What's yeah. that? I just yeah. I know t- I know too because I'm the godfather to two of them kids. So. Oh. Yeah, I, and I know they're here, so they look just like. Well, you what what are you? The right time or what's something? your duties as a godfather? <laughs> oh, shit, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the best godfather of all I don't time. Think right? I, was, I don't think I was a real godfather. I was just I was just the only guy who who didn't mind babysitting. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> Like, that would be a sick babysitter. Right? <laughs> well, you could do whatever you wanted to. <laughs> you really can. Like, you can yeah, anything chilling, that you bro. wanted to do. Just don't bother me when I'm watching what I'm watching. <laughs> yeah, I feel you. That's a great way to go. Wait, so Dom, you don't believe in condoms? I mean, I know they're real. No, like you don't. You don't they're just, they just—they just suck to use. So what do you do? Do you just pull out in time? Is yeah, that what you're uh, supposed to do? Yeah, you want to make sure they're on birth control. And then, that's what you're supposed to. And do. make sure they're on birth, birth control and pull out. And pulling out's fun anyway. You get the yeah, bust sure. over various parts of the body, and you get and you do it at the right time. Yeah, like as soon as you think, and you can't. You yeah, do. you can now with the condom. You could because you know, like say you go a little short, and then you could bust and then power through and just you know keep on going. You can't do that when you don't wear a condom though. You got to pull out, bust, and keep then work going. it back up. Yeah, there you, go. you ever have to put? You don't have to wipe off though. That's no, you bust in your hand and then you slap her in the face. Yeah, and then you just keep going. Then if you can, yeah. <laughs> so no, but stuff I'm saying so you don't. So because that you're still gonna be able to have a kid right after that, right? Mm-mm. No, if it's there, yeah. no. So it's just in the you moment. You get it all out with the first one. Yeah. Okay. All right. So no residue is gonna make that happen. No. No. Nah. Okay. All right. Six egg. It has to shoot. Okay. So it can travel and it can swim. Okay. To the okay. egg. Dude, that's crazy. This is mind blowing to me. <laughs> because, dude, I really thought that if it was like still on, mm-hmm. like if you had a little, like some something left out. That that could still make a kid like just one little tiny uh-huh. piece to no. make a child. No, dude. Uh-uh. No, you need impossible. the whole thing. Yeah. Well, you needed to shoot, man. You needed to get up in there. Hell yeah. Yeah. So all of it needs to get shot up in there like that, right? Not just I mean, a you can shoot just one shot. You know, right before you, you know, when you think you still got two more pumps, you just got that one pump. You shoot. That's why you got to pull out before that. You know, maybe aim it and do your thing so it comes out on time. Okay. And, and if you have sex in a hot tub, the hot water kills the semen. That's I heard it. that's pretty dangerous yeah. right there. No, it's not no. dangerous. It's kind of dry, though. It's not always cracked up to be in water. Dude, but it, it is a birth control method. Mm-hmm. Hot tubs? Yep. Hot tub. You can even bust inside up there because it's too hot. The heat's too hot. So you just make your tub hot? Yeah. Okay. So you can make no, a real no, hot like tub. A, like an actual <laughs> hot tub. <laughs> not the bathtub. Okay. I'm right too. Hot Unless tub. you got jets in there. You just <laughs> what, was that? what was that? What was that, dude? I heard that. I don't know what it was. I did too. I don't know. It kind of, that was like leapfrog, man. <laughs> <laughs> Brandon, Brandon plays his educational games for twenty minutes before he goes to bed at night. Oh, <laughs> Brandon, please uh, wear a condom. <laughs> you yeah. oh, you could not yeah, have man. the kid right no. now, man. Hell yeah, I know. I know. You on birth control? No, I couldn't be on it. Right. <laughs> so men take birth control? Yeah, they got it. Men take birth control for real, Jack. Yeah. That's crazy. I didn't know that. You need to get some, dude. That's why we need to get yeah, you but a for healthcare the wrong reason, I think. You can get an IUD. Mm-hmm. What is that? It sounds it's bad. Like little thing they put in your arm. Put into your car. What is that? Like a shot? No. It's an well, implant. That's an implant. Yeah. Implant. That sounds risky, though. So if you no, no, no. Hold on, it's just, a little, too, so it's just a little plastic rod. Right? Yeah, you get it. You just get an implant like right here on the inside of your bicep. Mm-hmm. Right, and then you just can't have kids for like three years. Yeah, and nah, when you get it, you have to be really annoying and make everybody feel it. Yeah. But when you do have a kid, it's like fucked up. 
Yeah. Oh, then fuck that. I'm well, it might be a little touch. You know, nah. who cares? Brandon, you're all right. Nah. Aren't we all? Nah. <laughs> Brandon, do you want kids? Yeah, man. Yes, I do. How yeah. many? How many do 17? I want? I don't know, man. What? When I'm old and gray and everything. Well, no, I'm t- not saying at that time it'll be over process, but by the time before I die, probably about four. Four. Four, four kids, man. Four, but that's this. How many yes, boys? How many girls? Them. And how many of them are trans? Yes, I would raise them. I would. I would have to have money st- and stuff first, but I would have. <laughs> that's like we poor and can't, can't be in public. Yeah. Can't be in public. Oh, dude, hell kids. no! I'm not gonna be in public by then. Are you talking, if you yeah. get your stock options right, man, yeah. By then, yeah. By then, probably I don't know. But two boys, two girls. I don't know. You okay. want two boys and two girls? Mm-hmm. And what how many of them are trans? How many are trans? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Two or three. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if they, whatever they, whoever wants to do it, I'm a guess if that's what they want to do. Would you pay for them to get the surgery? Would I pay? Yeah. I mean, sure. How, how, I don't. I'm, I'm glad. No. I'm, glad I'm, I'm, I'm glad you asked them that question. Know. I am so glad you asked them that question. Jason. How much? What? What? Ask it. Yeah, okay, ask I'm, him. Well, I'm glad you asked him that, huh? You... Well, I want to know you. Would you pay? Hell no. Okay, so you wouldn't pay? Okay, no. that's one. That's one. Wait, uh, <laughs> you know, man, I, how much is it? <laughs> it's, a, it's a lot. It's a lot. How much? Thousand. Thousand and no. Man, I can't afford that. <laughs> how much is it? <laughs> and even if I could, that's thousands of dollars, man. You got to get thousand dollars. I ain't going to lie. Like, I, I, could deal, I could deal. I could deal with. I could. Deal with having a gay child, maybe even a trans child. I just can't have a stupid kid. Stupid. Yeah. Mm. Now, like, like I'm talking about, like, I'm talking about because stupid kids are very expensive. True. You got to have bail money for them. You got to keep them mm-hmm. on your insurance plan. Yeah. You gotta, like, it's just too much money with dumb kids. Mm-hmm. I actually know because I'm one of those dumb kids. Yeah. And I know I cost my dad some money, goddamn. Well, he owes me some money, but still. <laughs> <laughs> but still. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Brandon liked that one. Yeah, at, least, at, least, at least gay kids, and at least with a gay kid, they can still do their own thing, get their own money, get about your life. But mm-hmm. dumb, yeah. it's like dumb kids, you stuck with them motherfuckers. Right? Yeah. Exactly. Because they have the age old question, gay son or a whore daughter? That's a crazy yeah. question. And easy, gay son. I could, I don't yeah, think I could, son? I couldn't, I would cry if like my daughter was on yeah. only I would break That's down. It. I would have mental I breakdowns. I wouldn't want down. my daughter to be a whore, but she's going to be a whore. At least get paid for it. I would cry. I <laughs> no. God, That's damn. not the mentality, dude. It's no. not the mentality. Oh, like, I don't, like, I don't want to have a whore daughter, but do it. I can't stop my daughter from being a whore. So if you're going to be a whore, <laughs> at least. At least get some money out of it because if you're gonna be a whore, I ain't paying for shit. T.I. stopped his daughter. Yeah. Huh? T.I. stopped his daughter from being a whore. Yeah, but that, checking, he was yeah. checking a homie. Yeah, that's weird, though. I don't yeah. like that. Yeah, that's insane. It that should he be an honor, said that honor system. Yeah, you, it's <laughs> insane. I thought that wasn't his real daughter, though. It doesn't matter. Oh. That uh, makes it weird. Well, yeah. He's making sure something. Wait, how old uh, was the daughter? Huh? How old was the daughter? Oh, probably like 18. 18, 18. 18. Man, little, I hope so. I uh, hope so <laughs> a 16 year old checking the 16 year old Hyman is a little weird. I think he was checking. That yeah. is weird. <laughs> yeah. I, I think he was, I think he was talking to the daughter about Hyman. But I don't think that's weird, though. If if you're the father and you're providing for your daughter, yeah, check that out. Brandon, what? how old? <laughs> No. The fuck are you talking I'm about? Do you want us to take this let's, out? Let's go back in time. And I know, I know somebody in the Huntsville what? comedy scene that would agree with this. If you're paying for your daughter's college, <laughs> no, I'm not even. I ain't talking like that. I'm just saying, like, oh. if you are, I'm talking about like if you're supporting your daughter, if you're fully supporting your daughter, you're responsible for her because back in the day, and I'm not trying to sound like that guy, but it's like back in those days. Like women didn't move out the house until they got married because that's the whole premise of the father giving the bride away. Like, hey, I'm giving you my daughter. She's your responsibility now. So it's like I wouldn't want my daughter to be out here getting pregnant and she ain't nobody's wife. Like, think about it though. Think about it. The girls we know, if that was if you had a friend who was a woman and she had kids, different fathers, but you'd be like, huh, that's just her. But if it was your daughter, you'd be you'd feel some type of way. I mean, that shit just happens, but in yeah. no situation is it okay to check your but, daughter's But I don't vibe. think T.I. is checking the hymen himself. Like, I think that's, I think that goes against protocol. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> that, that, is a, that is a HIPAA oh, vibe. Because, is, because <laughs> like, as a doctor, that's like, you know, client, that's like client doctor privilege shit. But I'm pretty sure he's talking to the daughter like, he's talking to the doctor like, hey, uh, hey I, I want to know, uh, doctor, uh, so, so what's going on with my daughter's hymen? I need to know what's going on with my hymen. Like, I need to make sure there ain't no keys popping out. I think that's an, a 
crazy invasion of privacy. Because they're still they're kids, but they're still like human beings. Could you okay. imagine? Imagine they're checking your balls. That's I don't what know they how you do it for, balls. for guys, but huh? That's what they did on the Mendez, bro. You remember the mother well, would check the balls? They did the, uh, Not me. <laughs> no. Oh, they checked my balls. I'm going yeah. to say, I'm a, I'm a say like, like, I said, like I said, that's why I say like, if you really want to be free from your parents like that, you just got to get your own shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah they yeah. should have yeah. just left. If, like, you can't, like, I, I made a joke on Facebook because I was watching an episode of Family Matters yeah. on Facebook. And they show Eddie Winslow getting mad at his mom and running up the stairs. And I was, and he was like, treat me like a man. I was like, how are you going to say somebody treat you like a man? You run up the stairs to her own goddamn house. Like, if you want to be treated like a man, if you want to, you know, have that. Like I said, I'm not trying to sound insensitive or nothing. But if, like I said, if, if the parent is supporting the child fully, it might be some rules that come with it. Mm-hmm. But I don't think T.I. is just checking the hymen himself, like looking at it. I think yeah. he just. I don't problem. know. This is all allegedly too. I, I don't, I'm not confident on what I see yeah, on the internet. Know. What the source was, I seen it. It was on, like it was like three, four years ago. Here, it was so like it was rap like, TV or something cool like that. It's arguably weirder to get someone else to check it for you. Everything about it is weird. There's not one piece about I it that's having, not fucking. I think having weird. a daughter is weird. Yeah, true. Oh yeah, wow, I agree. What? So why is that weird? Like being. It's not weird as weird. It's just like Look I, at picture, Jack for I picture myself. Being, I picture myself <laughs> being a father, and in every version of myself being a father, I only see a son. Not saying oh, I only want a son, but I don't think I would be able to handle having a daughter. Well, then they'll just be trans. It'll be cool. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? You know, get your boy in like <laughs> ten years. First you'll see. Mm, hey, no, with no, that. No, I mean, I'm, I'm blessed. Whatever I get, and. No shape or form. I'm going that far checking my daughter's hymen. I'm, I'm gonna do that to your mama. That's your mama job. But <laughs> the wife should check. That's that's the issue. That's I agree. Yeah. Be real. Be real. If the story, if the story, be real, Dom. if the story came out that Tiny was checking his hymen, would it be would it be weirder? Would yes, it, it's still no. fucking the same amount of it's weird. Not weird. It's not it's weird. All. I don't think so. Brandon, what do you say? I think this is kind of crazy. Yeah, it's like, insane. This is all crazy, man. Like checking, check. What are you? What are we checking this stuff for? Because like. <laughs> Make sure she's what not we, having sexual intercourse, Brandon. That's exactly what no, they make did sure, on that no, show. No, make sure, make, mm-hmm. sure her, make sure her thing ain't being abused. They would check their dicks and be like, let's make sure. Uh, I don't want to talk about this. this is, I don't want to talk this. Uh, I, I, I'm uh, out of this shit, bro. I'm out, bro. I'm just talking about the, your kids the movies, your kids, the Mendez. Be real. Be real. How, how, how old were you when you first fought? 14. You, you a legend. How old were you? 16. You're a legend. You're cool. How old were you? Uh, 19. Oh man, I was eighteen, but it's okay. <laughs> Brandon, how old were you? How, how when I did what? How old were you when you when you had sex consensually? Still had sex. So it's like so so at some point you <laughs> at some point you fucking somebody's daughter. So at some point you, you, the the children gonna experience sexually. <laughs> you just want to make sure what? They, you just want to make sure they oh, ain't take man, oh. at some point the children are going to spare them sexually you know it's what, you, who, what who spirits and who sexually the kid they're spending each other the children they're doing their thing <laughs> you just no, you just man. said you no just said your nothing. first your first oh. nut was 14 oh. yeah but I was in high school I wasn't oh, like man. a kid yeah, you was in high school. I was a teenager. But in a parent, in a parent mind, they don't want their child fucking in oh. high school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so <laughs> at some point, when you have a high school daughter, she's nine times out of ten is going to experiment hey, sexually. Let me tell you something. <laughs> My daughter would be a saint, and she wouldn't have sex till marriage. That's in your not mind, true. but <laughs> that's not true. She would <laughs> not grow hey, up in the I, church. Do I sound weird right now? <laughs> a little bit. Okay, I don't want to get fancy. <laughs> I'm just saying, at some point, you know, kids gonna fuck. Weird. Like when I like when I was in middle school, like they gave us a sex ed mandatory yeah. because three girls in my middle school class got pregnant. Mm-hmm. So at some point it's going to happen. They're going to fuck. Your job as a parent is to make sure that they're doing it like responsibly. True. That that makes a lot more. It's, sense. It's, like, it's, like, it's like it's like my homeboy. My homeboy was smoking weed at thirteen, mm-hmm. really younger than that. But his mom was like, "Shit, if you gonna smoke weed, smoke weed with me. I rather you smoke with me than go out there and get hooked on some shit that." Fuck your brain up or some shit like that. Smoke with mama. Mama gonna make sure I ain't, I ain't gonna. Mama ain't gonna lace you. So I understand it from that yeah. aspect. Like but you I, shouldn't have sex with your mom. No, that never. would be weird. never, no, never. <laughs> no, that's not yeah. good. Almost threw up. No, yeah, that, that's <laughs> different. That's bad. That's but different. like, so that's as terrible. me as a parent, oh, this has been terrible. And me as me as a parent, I don't want my child, my daughter, or my son to be fucking at a young age. 
But the, uh, with the way social media is, the way shit going on like that, you never know when your kids going to be fucking. But you want to make sure they're doing it responsibly. Use a condom. Yeah, they should, you know what I'm saying? Show them love at home. <laughs> yeah. And they won't have to search for it somewhere yeah, I'm else. I'm just giving support in my house. That's not that, what they do. But people are going to have sex, that don't, do, that don't mean shit. Yeah, what? but I still, it's still just like everybody. Does your, mom, does your mama love you at home? Yeah. But your dick still got hard, didn't it? What? Did you? Now, for the girl you fuck. Okay, for the girl you make fuck. sure you. Yeah, yeah for the girl you fuck. This is wild. Yeah, but, come on. Man. But what? It started off very extremely rough. Yeah, <laughs> but it was, Pat got to a good point at the end. People are gonna fuck, bro. Yeah, yeah. So teach them to do it responsibly. Yeah. Yeah, that's you what sex had is like, for. I feel like that's the new age, the way the world. Like people, people are so focused on trying to do shit from. Back in the day, when back in the day don't work no more because back in the day they didn't have social media. These days we have social media. These days every little girl's favorite rapper is half naked. Like I watch wrestling. I'm a big wrestling fan. You can agree with this shit on wrestling these days. All the female wrestlers got asses. They do. They're entertaining children. They got fat, juicy asses wrestling on TV. Mm-hmm. Like, it's, but even back in our that day, is weird. And back in our day, it was worse. They had oh, yeah. panties, we matches. Were, they yeah, had like it was titties weird. out. It was all it was, the time. It was, but not, it, was, it was over sexualized. So at some point, you know, a young kid gonna be like, "Damn, I want to." But base. let's be honest. Most wrestling fans are uh, either uh, mentally challenged or kids, or just horny motherfuckers. Which you're about taking so advantage you of both of those groups. <laughs> 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 like. You know what I'm saying? When I was grow- when I was coming up, Trish Stratus was the hottest white lady out of life. Yeah. That, I mean, it's just what it was. I was more Stacey Keebler. And not now. and yeah, that too. And not <laughs> to mention, like, they had them on Playboy. So it's like, goddamn, like as you you can't stop what's gonna come. Yeah. You can't stop you can't stop a little boy from coming. <laughs> oh my come on, That's, man. I don't know if we can no. release this episode. Yeah, that one was rough. Jesus that Christ. That one was crazy. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> this the is craziest thing I've ever heard. You know what's Yo, fucked that's up, though, up. man? Alex has never <laughs> kneeled told for you, anything. I told you, when you bring me on this motherfucker you, and you <laughs> licking me you licking me up, I've been drinking all weekend. I'm I'm just me. <laughs> He's just being me, dude. I'm just <laughs> being me. You know what's fucked you up, You can't stop it. <laughs> and I'm hot, so. <laughs> yeah, I feel like. I, I remember when I was a kid, that... We did have that problem too, though. Like, dude, we had somebody that was twelve years old in class that had a whole kid. It was weird. She would bring to class and stuff, yeah, and the teachers just, would be all acting like it was normal. It was weird. Yeah, like, uh-huh. like I learned, I, I learned all this shit from watching TV. Like, I, like you'll be surprised the fuck I watch. I be getting a deep mental thought. Like, Damn. like episode what? of good. It was an episode of Good Times when uh, you remember when Lona had Dr. Jenna Jass on the show. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. And it was an episode her friend got pregnant, and the, and when Lona was trying to say. She got stopping mumps. And I'm like, this ignorant bitch. <laughs> like, just tell the girl the truth. Little, 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 little girl got freaky, got pregnant. No. It happened. Oh, no. All right, so that's the end yeah, of the episode. That's it. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I, have, I have some more questions. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, you know, go ahead. Uh, oh so, so what would you guys do? Let's say you have a son. Mm-hmm. He's like seventh, eighth grade. Okay. Like 12, 13. <laughs> And then you get a bill on your like credit card or your debit card or whatever, mm-hmm. and it's uh, OnlyFans charge, but mm-hmm. you know it wasn't you. That yeah, it has to be him. Mm-hmm. That he bought OnlyFans. Yeah, like, yeah he, he bought OnlyFans. He subscribed to somebody, somebody on OnlyFans. What yeah. What would you do? Say, would you talk to him? Yeah, about I would it talk to him. I say, son, look here. You're you gonna have, have to, to pay me back. You ha- no, you have to pay for this. All right. There's a million porns out there for free. Economically, it doesn't make any sense. But by that time, porn will be banned, dude. No, no, no. If porn's banned, so is OnlyFans. Then I'll, buy, I'll be like the mom. I'll be like, just watch porn with dad. Like <laughs> this. What? Okay. That this isn't getting better from this the has corner. To be oh, man, I'm this <laughs> this might be the kid. Brandon, so. what would you do? Okay, so what I do is I'd be like, hey man, we gotta have a talk. Let me take this shit up. Okay, so this is who. Oh my God. Okay. okay, now see, it's not bad taste, but <laughs> look here, look here, man. I like Let me tell that. you something. Yeah, good taste. <laughs> but dude, what are you doing? No, don't buy this shit. And what? why is it open? Why am I seeing the history? Why am I getting the choice? This is bad shit. This He's is not bad. being sneaky enough. Right? This is this is bad. Now here, I'm not like look here, man. I got nothing to do with this shit. I don't think you should do it until you're older, man. But one day when you get some sense. 
And know I do some shit, dude. Go get a phone from the dollar store or some shit, man. Put it incognito. Because I don't want to see this shit again. This is bad. Don't do this. <laughs> and I'm canceling the subscription, man. You figure it out. If you want to get your own money, I don't know. Go to the dollar store and get a little gift card. But don't take my money, man. Gift card. Find a way to earn it. What would and you don't do, ever Pat? tell me, too. Well, first I'll whoop his ass because you use my car without my permission. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's actually the right answer. Um, I don't know. Like, I would feel stop way because, like, like you said, porn is free. Why the fuck yeah, free? Why am yeah, I paying? I don't get that. Like, man. unless it's a specific female that you know of that you want to see naked, then I understand yeah, it like 10%. Pay. But the but rest of them be in your ass. Don't pay. But then it's going to be under the dad's name, so she's going to exactly. think that like his you're dad is watching her shit. Oh, my God. Now there's Mr. a problem with Mr. you. Mr. Grimes, yeah. Mr. Grimes watched me on OnlyFans. No, the fuck I don't, bitch. <laughs> that was my son. You watched a couple clips, huh? No, I never did. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like you. I, I, why, why watch what you pay for? Where you can watch it for? Why pay for you can watch it for free? I'm not paying for only Would you use your ID of the X now? Because I know I heard a lot of things nowadays require ID. You heard? Yeah, that's what I heard. It's word on the street, dude. So do, do you? Would you if, they, if they're like, we need an ID and your birthday and stuff? Would you put all that in there? Uh, depends on the kink. Oh, no, I was talking about the whole site, like, in general. It's like, oh, to my OnlyFans? Yeah, no, no, not OnlyFans. I was talking about the, the Porn common, Hub, you got you to put your ID in now to confirm you're 18 in there. Alabama. Uh, yeah, I probably would. Uh, okay. I mean, I'm not a big porn prescriber. If I want to watch porn, I'll watch something quick and easy. Hmm. Uh-huh. It's good for you. Man. Like, but once I buzz, I'm done. <laughs> yeah. Porn is boring. <laughs> uh, I don't need. I don't need to know your name. I don't need to know where you're from, how you doing, like where you feeling today. Just fuck and get it over with. I only need to see. A, I only need to skip. We were talking about this last night. Do you skip around? Because I'm a skipper. Like, yeah. I only want to see like let's say 30 seconds of getting head, and then I want to jump to the first position and jump to each position until I find the best one. That's it's usually me. big tits bending over uh, from the back because you can see them from the side. You get that side and under boot from the back and they flop around or missionary because they go in like the little twirls. I only like the first part where they're like acting. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite part. Oh, just talk. Then after that, it just gets too dirty for me. Man. <laughs> I don't like all that the stuff, all that nonsense. Do y'all kink shame? Do y'all kink shame? What's a kink shame? I don't know. You saying do I kink shame? So, I will if you do it out in public. Yeah, I don't want to see your kink in in social areas. Do that shit. People, people just have it out loud. Now this is my kink. It's called a kink for a reason. You do that shit in fucking private. Yeah. If you have like the the tail coming out from the skirt, where it's obviously you have a butt plug in your ass. No, it depends. That's on who's wrong. It. No, I mean it's wrong. <laughs> yeah. It does depend on who's wearing it though. If they but have if like a, a skirt. Dude. So then, he, then he liked it. Hey, That's man. good. No That's yeah. what they want to do. Put I bet it would stop the leakage. Anti, anti-leakage. Hey, if it stops leakage, nah, fucking with it, but they can fuck with it. Yeah. But we, re- we really do have to go. Yes, we do. That's the end of this episode. <laughs> Pat, if you got anything you want to promote, any shows, just be out in a week, uh, uh, social media December, and everything. Uh, December 14th, I will be at uh, Speakeasy for Homegrown. Come check me out for that. Um, October 31st, I will be in Nashville. I do not do not know the venue, but it's in Nashville on Gallatin Ave. It's my first time going out there doing the show. So if you're in the area, come support me. And at uh, any point of this podcast, am I really a creep? It's just shit that goes in my brain. So <laughs> so don't take it too light. Don't take it too seriously. <coughs> take like 50% of it seriously. The rest of it is just some fuck shit. <laughs> That's all I got. It's always good when you got to give a disclaimer at the end of the episode. Thank you, Pat. <laughs> <laughs> all right, thanks. All Appreciate right. you, baby. Yeah. Yeah. I fucking hate Scrappy Doo.